So, with the anime series Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens comes the character of Mimi Itachi, a duelist who uses the mighty Dian Kito monsters. So in this video, I thought I'll give you my thoughts and rankings on these awesome cards. Hello everyone and welcome to Dueling with Downton, and today we're ranking the wonderful Dian Kito cards throughout the Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. Now, I will be going into detail about the cards and my reasoning as to why I like them in this particular way. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Now please note, this video is based on my own personal opinions. So if you agree or disagree with anything that I say, that's perfectly fine. Let me know how you would rank these in the comments down below. Starting off at number four, we have Dian Keto, the Kitchen Master. Now looking at this monster, the first word that comes to mind is the word wholesome. Plus, I think the anime did this card justice in terms of its summoning animation, and of course, the summoning charm. As all of these paired together were wholesome, creative, and really cute. Design-wise, is amazing. I love the colours used on this card art. The lady herself looks fantastic in a chef uniform as well, plus she has a saucepan rocket launcher of all things. This dying keto monster for sure is one fiery woman, which pairs nicely with the fire attribute. Its skill though, I think is decent, as you can gain a lot of life points, but also the requirement is still rather costly. If you're starting at 4000 life points when starting the duel, then fine, you're going to get there relatively quickly. But if you're starting with 8000, like the in life rush dueling format sort of says you need to, then by the time you get down to meeting the requirements of needing 2000 life points, the duel is close to ending. So the skill could be useful, but it does also rely a bit on luck. With that being said, I do wish to obtain this card and try it out, whether in real life at locals or in video games. And then after that, gaining experience using this card, my views might change. But at the moment, it stays at number four. In third, we have the original spell card, Dying Keto, the Cure Master. Now this card is in third for one particular reason, and that has to do with my personal experience in using this card. I've had so much fun combining this card with the trap card of Bad Reaction to Smoochie and Card Exchange. Dying Keto, the Cure Master, all works really nicely, especially when you have a dumb CPU in quite a lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh video games. When playing Task Force specifically, if you have Smooch on the field as a continuous trap card, and then only Dying Keto, the Cure Master in your hand, when you use card exchange, the CPU will use that Dying Keto, the Cure Master, purposely hurting themselves. Now, of course, this sounds childish, I know that, but purposely leaving your opponent on 1000 or less life points just so you can do this combination and they destroy themselves, it's oddly satisfying. I have even, I kid you not, had this scenario happen in a local shop when dueling against a random person. The guy I was dueling was silly enough to fall for this trap and I had other cards in my hand, he was just low on life points and wanted to gain an extra thousand. So we took Dian Keto the Cure Master from my hand when I had Smooch on the field and I was like, are you sure you want to use my Dian Keto card? And he was just like, yeah, of course I do. And then, boom, he lost. Design-wise, it's unique to say the least. And the skill is helpful. So for that, I'm happy to put it at number three. Now, second place goes to Dian Keto, the Prison Master. Now, if I were ranking these monsters purely on their design, this monster would be number one. Who doesn't want a powerful, dominating prison guard lady keeping you in check? Like, honestly, when we all saw this card for the first time, our minds were blown, in a good way. As much I would love to put this monster in a higher position, the effect of the card just doesn't seem that great to me. Like, I just might not be understanding it correctly, or it might be due to my lack of experience in using it. Hear me out. So normally, you would draw up to 5 cards at the start of your turn. So during your previous turn, you would try to get rid of as many cards as possible in your hand. So then, when you pass your turn to your opponent, you haven't got pretty much any cards in your hand whatsoever. 
So what's the likelihood of your opponent having a spare level 7 or higher monster in their hand when you come to use this card's effect? Hmm. So yeah, again, this could be due to my lack of experience in using it. I haven't been able to test play this card out yet. Because Dawn of the Battle Royale Switch game doesn't have this card in it at the moment in time. It hasn't been updated to do that yet. Also, I've not bought any Japanese decks, so I might be wrong and this effect might be really good and activate quite frequently. But at the same time, I love its design. I think it's an awesome card, so I'm putting it in second place. So in first place on this list, all about Dian Keto, we have Dian Keto, the Gold Digging Master. Or in the English version, Dian Keto, the Boogie Master. Now, this card was the first Dian Keto monster that got revealed for Yu-Gi-Oh! Sevens, and I remember going crazy seeing it. It was awesome to see a legacy card like Dian Keto the Cure Master get a support card like this, turning into a monster and getting a design upgrade. Seeing this card in the anime for the first time made me fall in love with this card even more. Plus, it was paired with one of my favourite characters in Sevens in Mimi Itachi. Because after seeing the card art itself for the first time, yes I was blown away, yes I was happy, but I was still like, mm, I don't really need it. However, now, my thoughts have changed. I want this card in real life. I want to mean this card plus the other Dian Keto monsters in a local tournament and or online. So when this card comes to the UK in Rush Duels, then, yeah, you know I'm getting it. Using this card on a Squidge game is really fun as well, as I always try to summon it whenever I can, just for the laughs and of course seeing the summoning animation. I will admit, only recently have I noticed that this monster's skill is the same as the original Dian Keto spell card, just with a discard feature. Don't know why it took me that long to see the connection. Oh well. So those were my thoughts and reasons on the rankings of the Dian Keto monsters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! 7 slash Yu-Gi-Oh! franchise. So let me know your favourites and why in the comments down below. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment and subscribe for more things Yu-Gi-Oh! and more videos like this in the future. Above all else though, have a great day. Alligator, Matt Goodbye.